Morning. This is Arnie Waters here at Waters Capital in Boston, Massachusetts. Today is a terrific day in gold. Uh, we're holding above, 50, excuse me, 1660 plus or minus, uh, which would indicate that we are holding above the 61.8 percent Fibonacci retrenchment band. It's a very good sign. Even though the volume isn't what we like to see, uh, we may have formed a temporary bottom in through here and we're expecting gold to stay on the upward path which we have uh, previously discussed at great length. Now, uh, one of the things that is going to be covered in much more detail in the written elements of the morning call is how many forecasters have described a big retail or holiday season. This seems at variance with one basic fact. There doesn't seem to be any product coming in. If we look at uh, shipping into the West Coast ports, which is where a lot of our material comes from, countries on the other side of the Pacific that shall remain nameless for the holiday season, uh, that shipping is down, uh, down in volume. So therefore, we believe that there is no evidence that companies have bought more material or bought new in-season goods or bought more games and toys uh, to be delivered. So we don't expect the holiday season to be a big deal. Part of the reason for this is that consumer household debt remains very high and spending is weak as consumers try to deleverage themselves. They're paying down their debt. They're not spending Googles of money as they have in the past. So we have a lot of difficulty with forecasts that say there's going to be a really, really big retail end of year. And as I think everybody knows, the holiday season represents uh, between a fifth and a third of uh, most stores' annual uh, turnover. Uh, secondly, our view is that the EC, the European community, is situation is going to move from bad to worse. Again, seven times the Greek debt held in Italy, I'm sorry, in uh, Spain uh, and Ireland. Uh, so we don't see any light, quote unquote, at the end of the tunnel in the European situation. We also don't believe the latest statement that they've reached an agreement that's going to be discussed in two weeks and then it's going to be voted on two weeks after that. Seems like more of the same to us. Um, we're also getting very little export demand. That's one of the signs that the U.S. economy uh, is uh, continuing to be flat because usually we'd be exporting more goods and that's not happening now. Uh, finally, there seems to be very little that the fiscal and monetary authorities can do other than those things that they have done uh, to produce a return. The problem in the United States is jobs. The problem is a lack of political will uh, on the part of the present administration uh, to get programs through and uh, point out the vast problems that exist for most Americans. Uh, even though there are some enlightened financial commentators, most people of that ilk find it very difficult to believe that actual human beings are hungry. Uh, in our church, we're collecting cans because here in Boston, which is, you know, kind of a hotbed of do-goodism, in Boston area, food pantries are running out of food. That's how much demand there is. So uh, in my view, when everybody that I know knows people who are actually having an extremely difficult time or have lost their homes, it's hard for me to believe, and, and again, with food pantries going empty, uh, that uh, most consumers are going to un uh, unleash their wallets uh, in order to, to spend extra amounts of money in the holiday season. So this is Arnie Waters. I want you to aim for the ice flows, not the open water. And I hope you have a great day and keep swinging.